this Mitsubishi alternator is just full of oil. But we know how it got there, and we got kind of a neat fix for that. Coming right up. This alternator from a Mitsubishi Montero has really got a lot of oil in there. And to help us understand how it gets in there and what we can do about it is Nelson Davis from Motor Car Parts of America. Thanks for being with us, Nelson. Tell us what is going on here. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, this uh, particular alternator fits uh, several models of Mitsubishi Montero and Montero Sports, uh, 1997 through 2004 with the V6 engine. And these particular engines on these uh, Mitsubishis are notorious oil leakers. Uh, the front camshaft seals will leak. The valve cover gaskets will leak. Uh, some of the applications actually have a power steering hose that's routed right across the top of the alternator, and it will also sometimes leak power steering fluid in there. When that oil or that power steering fluid gets into that alternator, it contaminates it. It ruins the brushes, it ruins the slip rings, and eventually the alternator will fail, it will quit charging and need to be replaced. Well, one of the things we need to understand is how does the oil actually get in there? We know it's from dripping, but an alternator is cooled with fans. Uh, sometimes there's just one on the front, sometimes uh, there's one on the front and the back, and it's designed to pull air into the back and into the front of the alternator, and the air comes out at the center. And that, of course, cools everything that's on the inside. So if you have oil dripping anywhere, it's going to pull the oil in, and that's how it gets in there. Now, how are we going to keep it from getting in there? That's exactly right. Now, ideally, the customer would take care of the oil leaks, repair that valve cover gasket, replace the camshaft seal, and replace the power steering hose. But it is a fairly expensive repair. It can be quite extensive, so they sometimes choose not to do that. So what we've done at Motor Car Parts of America is we've developed an oil drip guard that we place on the back of the alternator. It's already installed on the alternator in the box, so it doesn't require the technician or the installer to do anything extra. When they pull that unit out of the box, it's ready to go. And this deflector shield actually helps to prevent that oil. It allows it to kind of drip away and fall away, help prevent it from being ingested or pulled into that alternator by the cooling fan that you mentioned. That is really a slick idea. Uh, however, I am a little bit confused. This one is a, a drip shield as well, but it's got more louvers and stuff on it. So tell us more about that. That's right. This is our latest version. This was the first version of the oil drip guard that we came out with right here. And this is the latest version. So it has a little more coverage on the back side there, as you can see, to, again, do a little bit better job of preventing that oil from being ingested in there. So here's a, a good example of the drip guard just separate. And then here's one that's installed on the back of an alternator housing. It's already installed on that unit when they, when they take it out of the box. So it doesn't require them to do anything extra. The other nice thing that we do is we include in the box a technical service bulletin that explains the situation on these vehicles and why it requires this drip guard and gives them a little bit of information about the drip guard that we've installed on these units. That is just fantastic. So there you have it. If you have a Mitsubishi alternator that's all full of oil and you know you have to replace it, if you get the MPA unit, it's already got the shield installed. There's nothing else you have to do. What a great way to solve this problem. <laughs>